Hi, my name is Omar Mansoor. I'm a fashion designer based in London. Uh, I was born in Faisalabad. I spent my whole childhood in Faisalabad, being a very bad student at school. Uh, the only good thing I was at was arts, and uh, yeah, that's the only thing I used to focus during my childhood. Uh, my father is was related to textiles at that time, so did my grandfather and great grandfather, and mixing. Textile with arts, I always used to think that I can come up with something known as fashion designing. It was not that common phenomena in my town at that time in 90s, early 90s, when I was growing up. But I always knew that I will end up being a fashion designer. So that was the vision. But my parents want me to learn a bit of business and should have an MBA on me. So I attended Lahore School of Economics. Studying at Lahore School of Economics in 2002, actually I launched my design salon in Pakistan. So I used to exhibit them in Lahore in Islamabad and always used to get them sold out. So uh, that was very encouraging in those days for me that the new concept of design salon was getting introduced and uh, women were appreciating it that they are getting something which is in limited edition and exclusive and not mass production. Uh, I was making my final collection at London College of Fashion. My mentor at that time, Mr. Jeff Owen, he always used to ask me, why you make this kind of sketches with some kind of uh, embellished effects or embroidery effect on them? So I used to tell him that's how I like them, that Western cuts, Western dresses, your cuts, your dresses and my kind of embroidery on it. And he used to get, uh, he used to smirk at me in, in those days, I remember him very well. And I never knew what does that smirking actually means. And then he told me that uh, he liked this idea and he should, he suggested me to visit British Fashion Council and discuss with them about showcasing my collection at the London Fashion Week. For me, it was more of an uh, unachievable dream at that time. And I, went, I was very skeptical that I may get any kind of call from them after the first meeting. But on the first meeting, I've been told that, yeah, I, go, I will get a chance since no none of the Pakistani before me has approached them to showcase at the London Fashion Week. So in that case, I was the first Pakistani to showcase not just my brand, but Pakistan also. And I, uh, London is a very kind of welcoming and uh, city and uh, whatever you are, you can be over here as far as your culture is concerned. So it's very welcoming and that actually helps me. Uh, London has given me a chance to not just to showcase uh, myself, my ethnic, my designs, but also to showcase the rest of the world how a normal Pakistani things and lives. It allows you to work with your ethnicity and how you feel co confident and comfortable. So that encouraged me make up a collection and represent my school of thought in a way merging Pakistani uh, design ethos as well as the British styles together. My very first collection was titled Culture to Couture. So it was all about the mixed culture of London ethnicities and cosmopolitan behavior of the people. So I showcased that all in one collection. It was a multicolor collection. It was very amateur of a student kind of collection at that time. Uh, it actually it wasn't that easy to sell that kind of idea, but it was easy to showcase that idea since I had the platform of the Fashion Week. Uh, there was always difficult questions for me. Whenever an interview starts, it starts from what myself, my designing, blah, blah, blah. And then it always comes to what's going on in the country and how the country is responding towards uh, fashion. I always used to remind them to go and visit the Victorian Albert Museum and see the Mughal outfits, which we, the subcontinent people at that time, taught them how to wear pure silks and we introduced them to our uh, good fabrics, hand-woven silks and intricate embroideries which they were not that much aware of at that time. Even the fashion journalists used to ask how does Pakistani fashion industry uh, develops or reacts to these kind of ideas. So I always used to tell them about my fellow designers back home which I am very proud of. All of those designers uh, who are working in Pakistan and helping making a cottage industry into a mainstream industry and with these advents of fashion weeks which were not happening at that time but now I mean whenever there's a Pakistan fashion a fashion week in Pakistan I show I share uh, the news with all the mainstream media over here well now this is what we actually are not just the political side which going wrong stuff in the on the borders etc a few clients a few Middle Eastern royalties uh, European uh, oligarchs or the Russian oligarchs I must say and everyone has a different kind of approach when it comes to dressing up the only thing common is they all want to look fabulous they all want to wear something which is unique so when you do a couture for a specific client you are always like focusing what exactly their lifestyle is where they are wearing it 
and uh, there are quite a few clients who don't want to be uh, they don't even want your label on their dress because they want to keep everything so discreet there are quite a few clients uh, who want who actually give you a whole year advance uh, diary of their events which they are attending throughout the year so since i work with quite a few person stylists and person dressers so the stylist knew knows that what exactly the, uh, even they are going to is it a, uh, end of the year ball christmas ball royal escort what kind of event so they just tell me that these are the dates these are the events and just uh, these are the themes and make the wardrobe so i actually look forward to collaborate with any uh, established brand and doing a collection for a certain brand under my name uh, a collaborative kind of collection it could be anywhere in any part of the world uh, not necessarily in britain but it could be even in any part of asia middle east or anywhere so i actually in that way you can reach out the masses not just the classes and that's the fun of uh, fashion because it has a trickle down effect and uh, a fashion become a fashion when actually everybody accepts and wears it so i look forward to do a big collaboration with any brand for the masses